Kang. to go on a road trip <gasps> yeah it's your first road trip so mammoth is about 300 miles and five hours away from la we took the 14 to 395 route we drove a front wheel drive mazda 65 without any problems since there's no snow right now and the drive is very easy flat and straight it's not zigzag like big bear or anything like that so we left our house around 3 a.m. to get to our first stop around 8 or 9 a.m. So if you want to get there in the morning like us, then keep in mind that you will probably need to leave very early. Our first stop was Eric Schatz Bakery in Bishop for breakfast. And I highly, highly recommend trying this place out. It's so good and they have a ton of different breads and pastries. It was literally like Disneyland for me because I love anything bread and pastries and they had so many different types of breads and I never seen a bakery at this scale. So we got some sandwiches for breakfast. Nothing mind blowing but felt very homemade and fresh. But don't miss out on their churros, cream puffs and freshly squeezed orange juice. Then we went to our dear friend's house in Bishop, which we stayed for the night. And then we headed to our first lake, which was Lake Mary. So Lake Mary was very quiet, very peaceful and serene. It felt very big and open compared to other lakes. We would probably not recommend it if you're looking for more lively vibes and more crowd. It would actually be really nice during sunset, but we didn't go there during that time, so we can't really speak to it. But I can kind of already imagine how beautiful and romantic it'll be. Oh, it's cold! It's cold, it's cold bye! It's actually windy. Huh? Water's coming in, yeah! Water's gonna get you! Wow, this is a first. Come, put the leash just in case. You want to experience? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, not at all, please. It's this chapter. Spot. Take a picture of me. We're going to a different spot. Still Lake Mary. You literally sit down and look at the water. After Lake Mary, we headed to our second stop, which was Rainbow Falls. To get to the Rainbow Falls between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., you actually need to get on a shuttle from Mammoth Adventure Center. So if you would like to bring your own car, I believe you'd want to go before 7 a.m. The ticket for the shuttle was $15 for an adult and you can bring your dogs with you on the shuttle as long as they're leashed and muzzled. We did not know we needed a muzzle actually so we ended up purchasing it at the adventure center which was also about $15. So if you have one at home, be sure to bring it. There are two stops you can get off at to get to the Rainbow Falls which are stop number 6 and stop number 9. You will have about two and a half mile hike from stop number six and about half a mile hike from stop number nine. We took the longer hike going to the waterfall and we didn't do enough research and did not expect this long of a hike actually. So we were definitely not prepared enough. 
But basically, when you go, expect to hike a bit since you can't really get to the waterfall without it. So don't forget to wear the shoes that are okay to get dirty or even wear hiking shoes and bring your hat, sunglasses, and plenty of water. After about an hour for us, we finally arrived at Rainbow Falls. <laughs> We were so happy to finally see the waterfall and the rainbow there was really really beautiful. Oh, wow. so, pretty. I so on the way back, we took the shorter route which was Rainbow Falls Trailhead which led us to shuttle stop number 9. This shorter trail was a bit steeper and a little more difficult but nothing too crazy or super advanced. It was still doable um, but the longer trail was flatter and easier and had a little more things to watch along the way. But if you're short on time, I think this trail had will just do. But make sure to ask your shuttle driver if you can be picked up at stop 9 by the time you're done because the map says stop number 9 is drop off only after 3. We were definitely tired after Rainbow Falls but we're very excited for our dinner at the village at Mammoth. We went to this cute restaurant called Campo. It was an Italian restaurant. It had a really nice cozy outdoor seating area where we can bring our dog as well. It was nighttime and actually pretty windy and cold, but the heaters and the fireplace there definitely helped. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, most restaurants here close at 9 p.m. So make sure to check the closing time and get here early enough before that. Here we got some roasted cauliflower. It was really, really good. So make sure you order that. And some pizza and some Wagyu short rib ravioli, which was pretty good too. Look at this cute little checkbook of theirs. It was a travel book for Italy and I thought it was so cute. June Lake Beach was really pretty and unique, but as you can see, it was super packed. It was around noon and there was no parking already, so Nick had to stay in the car. I'm not sure because it was July 4th weekend, it was July 2nd that day, so maybe it was extra packed. But if you go there, I would recommend going there early because it seems like June Lake Beach is one of the most popular spots in Mammoth Lakes. After June Lake, we stopped by at Silver Lake really quickly because it was only a couple miles away and it was cozy and smaller lake. Nothing too crazy or special but it was nice and I heard that during winter time, it's really beautiful with the Aww. snow. <laughs> oh, cutie pies! After that, we headed to our last stop and we snacked a bit in the car. This is the orange juice from Eric Schatz that I mentioned before. Uh, it was so so good, it's a must try. I feel like snacking in the car is the best part of the road trip. It's the most fun part to me. So we were really happy after that.
Hi, baby. Are you happy, baby? Are you liking it? Chilling. Hi, Padang. Hi, Pink Padang. She's chilling out. He's relaxed. I know. It's your jam, baby. You like this lake? We really enjoyed Convict Lake. The view was just absolutely spectacular. The mountains that were wrapping around the lake were taller than other places. So I don't know, it almost felt like we were in Europe, maybe Switzerland or something like that. And it was really peaceful and calm, but at the same time, it didn't feel dead. You know, like uh, Lake Mary was a little bit too peaceful for us because there were not that many people. But here there were more people and it was a little bit more lively, but still peaceful and serene. So we really, really liked it. Bok Choi had the best time ever as well. He was just lying down and chilling, looking at the water. And it was just a really, really great experience. So I would say do not miss on Convict Lake. Now that wraps up our trip to Mammoth Lakes. The only thing we wished we did was to bring chairs because it would have been really nice to just sit comfortably on chairs and enjoy the lakes. We actually took this trip for our baby puppy Bok Choi. He was diagnosed with retinal degeneration which will make him lose sight eventually. He was basically born with it and there's no cure for that. So we wanted him to see the world and the nature and everything around as much as he can while he can still see. And I think we were able to make a lot of good memories. We had a lot of fun. Bok Choi had fun. And especially Mammoth was super dog friendly, which made it super easy for us. And if you have dogs, I'm sure you're going to have an amazing time as well. I hope this video was helpful and hope you guys try Mammoth Lakes. How's the churro? The best. Churro is really good, no? Soft and fresh.